Good morning. Well, unfortunately, we are seeing a lot of damage here on Michigan Avenue right now. We're at the intersection of Michigan Avenue and Church Street. And one of the businesses we are standing in front of is Blue 302. This looks like a salon, boutique type of store. And you can see their windows are just completely smashed. Their displays knocked over in the window fronts and their flower pots just smashed everywhere as well. We haven't seen any owners come over here here just yet. There was a heavy Michigan State police presence down here and they just made their way out a little bit ago, but several businesses along the street have been impacted. We're going to safely cross over the street and show you some of what we're seeing over here. And while we've been walking around and assessing some of this damage, we did just have a business owner drive up to us, thanking us for the live coverage because he was able to see what was going on in his community. And luckily his business was okay. Uh, we did speak with another business owner not too long ago that said his business was okay as well, but he was just walking around to see some of the damage that has been done to his friends' businesses. What we're showing you right now, this is um, downtown Kalam or Discover Kalamazoo, rather. You can see these windows are shattered. Looks like it's two plain glass there, so it didn't make it all the way through. Um, same volunteer we saw just a little bit ago when we were showing you cleaning up the storefront of Jimmy John's. Um, we asked if he wanted to go on camera, but at this time he just didn't feel comfortable, so we're respecting that. A lot of the business owners we've been speaking with as well are just trying to take this all in at the moment, so hard to see this happen in their city. We're going to keep walking down and showing you what we're seeing along this strip of Michigan Avenue. Um, this is Rose Gold Coffee Company. It looks like they have been closed down due to COVID-19. We've seen that sign on their door, but you can still see that their window front, and it looks like a flower pot got smashed in front of here as well, or maybe that is what was picked up and thrown into this window. Next up, we have NORAD Jewelers. Their window is smashed, not broken through completely. The inside of their store is empty. But what it looks like to us is that it was empty prior to this night. Now, across the street from us, that is the Michigan Avenue Courthouse. We are seeing some vandalism over there, several smashed windows. The front and side doors are boarded up as well. And we know that that is where that peaceful protest was taking place around 7.15 last night. A lot of the people we've talked with said it was very peaceful and it was good to see that. They left, they were helping the officers, giving them food, and then they got home and they heard on social media and saw on social media what started to happen in their city. We had our Aaron Parsegian live down here as well, bringing you all of that coverage. And he was standing right in front of that building. You could see all of the Michigan State Police, Kalamazoo Public Safety Department in their gear, trying to push people out of the area, get them to clear Kalamazoo, because that peaceful protest quickly turned violent throughout the rest of the night. And they were trying to get people out. We saw protesters lying on the ground in front of them, and we saw them getting sprayed with mace and tear gas was being thrown to try to get them out of the area as well. So similar to what we were seeing the other night in Grand Rapids as well. Of course, we'll continue to check in with you guys in just a little bit. But for now, live in Kalamazoo, Alyssa Heron, Fox 17 News.